Hi everybody, Dacov here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker, June, the month of my birthday. It ain't my birthday yet, but it doesn't matter. Shopping, shopping, shopping. <laughs> so I'm getting presents either from family, friends, or stuff that I buy for myself to say, you know, happy birthday. You've lived to see another year. Um, so I have a lot of kind of friends and connections within the fashion world, which means sometimes I'm lucky enough to get kind of an invitation to pre-sales. Well, and I've noticed that when I post this particular brand, not a lot of people click. And I thought to myself, is it because people usually, for me, they want to see Chanel or Louis Vuitton mostly, because that's the videos you like to see. I see the numbers. But then I kind of made a little bit of research on the internet, and this brand just seems not to, doesn't seem like people are very interested in it on a social media level too much. Which is a pity, because I still think it has a lot to offer. Granted, they need to change a couple of things, but it is Versace. And uh, it is Donatella Versace. Well, except this season, the stuff that went on sale, spring, summer, 18, is the tribute collection. So a lot of it is actually Gianni Versace, which, of course, you either have the original from the 80s and 90s, or you gotta buy the, the remake. Now, this particular color combination is relatively new. I haven't seen this color combo back in the day, but let's get to it. I'm going to show you what it is. So here's the bill in the white envelope with the golden Medusa on top. And um, yeah, the bill, ouch. But the pre-sale is 50% off. Um, just quickly about the bag, I, I don't really, I think they need a huge Medusa on the bag and the Medusa should be gold. I'm, this black on, this gray on black doesn't do it, doesn't do it for me. These are not sales bags, like these are regular boutique bags, it's just, doesn't give me that 90s vibe. I mean, especially if you're selling a tribute collection. And also the tissue paper, like green Medusas, why? probably too too light to even see let me like go down maybe then you could see it bitter it's like white tissue paper with the green text this is what I got silk 100% classic Versace silk it's from the Teatro Cinema uh, Balletto and Opera series with all the, um, uh, I would say, are they Greek? They look more, maybe they are Roman masks and faces. And then in the back you have the entire text. And then in the front, the buttons with the Greek on one side and a lot of, a lot of different ornaments on the other side. There you have it. Okay, so let's let's hear how silk feels or sounds on the mic. It's that's that's the sound of silk. It's incredible. I will be wearing it pretty soon in a video and something. I'm not just I can't. This, this doesn't fit with the Vivian Westwood cockroach propaganda shirt and this. It's just that's how I came home and. That's how I'm going to leave home. Oh. Okay, this is the color combo. Now, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, Super Deco Ball spelled together. Uh, many moons ago, I have posted a photo of me wearing from the 90s, the original Gianni Versace jeans with the same print in green hues. And now I have the shirt to match it. It's a different color combo, but it's the same pattern. So it's really interesting. But I'm really loving this kind of lilac-y leopard print with the baby blue sky, like kind of ice blue sky and then the black. And in the back, there's these saturated colors for the flowers and all of the ornaments on the Opera Balletto Teatro Cinema print is just to die for. Now, what's the second thing I got? And of course, the sleeves repeat the pattern that we have on the back of the shirt. And then there's uh, extra buttons inside. I guess something is flying around there. Yeah. We have the tag. 
what does it say? Attention. The aspect of the garment is obtained thanks to particular printing technique. Eventual imperfections and a not uniform aspect are to be considered part of the image and the spirit which this garment wants to represent. Please take care when ironing. Vapor, very high temperature and pressure can damage the look of the fabric irremediably. Yeah, and then there's an extra button in there. Every button says Versace on it. Gorgeous. Okay, that's the shirt, which, you know, you're going to see me wear it sooner or later because I really, really like this one. And when I, you know, I don't buy Versace that often, but when I do, it's because I really am in love with it. And to go with the shirt has a Medusa sticker on the back. To go with the shirt, what could be in a flat thing like this, I guess almost everybody already guessed. The silk carré scarf. Now this is thicker than the shirt, I think. Yeah, it's definitely much, much, much thicker silk than the shirt. But so this is the foulard or carré. It's quite big. I think, what is this, 90 to 90 centimeter, maybe, I don't know, it's, it's telling me with this new kind of system Versace has, you could check the authenticity of this product on versace.certilogo.com and then they give you a code that you could kind of put online, so we have to protect that code, just like Chanel bags have a code. So guys, that would be the scarf. The scarf is the complete print. The shirt has kind of cuts, so you don't see the full print all at once, but the entire print in its entirety is visible only on the carré. And then you have this ornament on the top turning into the Greca motif, which is here at the bottom. You could see that here. And then all the masks. This was the last one they had in stock, so I was super thrilled to get it. And then at 50 off, it was like, yes. Hell yeah. Oh. Just, oh, these colors, and then the memory of Gianni, you know, and I mean, I'm devastated. And, and I was, all, again, you remember, for those of you who follow my channel, but you could also check me out on Patreon. If you wish to pledge and become a patron on Patreon, uh, Super Deco Ball spelled together, there are videos that are exclusive to Patreon. You can only see them there as well as photos. But for those of you who follow me also on YouTube for quite some time, you might remember many months ago, I did a mini series um, of kind of showcasing a retrospective a tribute exhibition to Gianni Versace. Um, it, quite incredible, really, because it was all of his original designs from the 80s and 90s. And during that series of videos, I was also quite often close to tears because it's just so emotional. Johnny was such... And, it, you know, it's, people throw around the word genius so easily. We shouldn't. But I think in this case it merits. He really was a genius in so many respects. And I had a similar experience the, the other day in the Versace boutique. Because I did go several times, actually, um, but for other reasons as well, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I, I see the pieces that are hanging there from the Tribute Collection. And something just moved me and made me so sad because it made me think, gosh, this guy died in the late 90s. Then we had, let's say, what was it? I can't remember anymore. Was it 96 or 97? I think 97. So let's say 2007, 2007, 20, 21 years, approximate 20-something years that he's dead. And this, we still remember this. We still remember his Baroque prints. We still remember it like it was yesterday. That's how potent, strong, incredibly strong vision he had. That it burned itself into our memory. Even the generations that came after that, they know. They still know. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And I just thought to myself, gosh, 20 year, for 20 years he's been gone. What would he have done were he still alive today 
in these 20 years that have passed, how much more would he have had to give? How much further would he have pushed the boundaries of fashion, of creativity? You know, it's, it blew my mind away because the period of time he has been dead is now longer than the years he was famous and creating these particular visions. And we still remember those visions that he had while he was alive. So I thought to myself, he had a, if he had another 20 years, could you imagine what he could have done on top of... It like all stopped with this, then he was gone. But if he didn't go away, what, what would we have today? So it made me sad because there I was purchasing a tribute collection that went on sale. Had I had more patience, I could have hunted these in other colorways, but I could have hunted these down. Maybe not the, the silk scarf, but maybe the shirt. And there I was buying a, a remake in a Versace boutique. It, I don't know. I don't feel that way when I buy, you know, a 255 reissue Chanel bag. Yeah, she made it in 1955, but they kind of, for I think for a short time, they might have discontinued that model, but it was really always constantly there. But these pieces, they're not always in production. They were gone for 20 years, and now they're back for one season. It's a different feeling. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a different type of... It's not like you're continuing to produce something over and over again. It's like you're giving it one more shot 20 years later. It really made me, yeah, it made me sad. What can I tell you? But I, I'm I'm really happy to, to have these pieces. Uh, it's a bitter, happy feeling because they're not the originals from the 90s. You know, they're a tribute, they're remakes of today in memory of him. But then a, a part of me also thinks, well, it's also done because the brand also wants to kind of, I guess, in some way, shape or form profit from it because they're still hoping for the nostalgia factor in the clients that want to own a piece of kind of original Johnny memorabilia, but it's not original Johnny memorabilia because it's remade. And then also my friend who works, you know, Versace also told me, well, Deco, but you know, a lot of our historic clients, they didn't go for these pieces. They didn't buy the tribute collection because they just came and said, well, we already have these pieces. The original is from the nineties. Um, you know, they might have purchased something that had a color alteration, like a inverse colors like this one. Well, maybe this one existed in this colorway in the 90s, but I, I don't remember seeing it. I saw in other colors only. Um, but most of the people didn't buy it. I, or some people bought some pieces and ordered extra pieces that they already had in the 90s, but that broke or that, you know, through wear and tear just got damaged or that they lost or that they sold and, and then regretted selling. But in terms of young people rediscovering Versace for the first time, you know, usually youth doesn't have that type of money, like six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for a T-shirt. That's insane. That's just not the right approach, Donatella. You know, if you're going to do a tribute collection, I don't know. I think in general, I would not want, and I've said this in the review of the tribute fashion show, I loved it, but I also said, well, uh, the capsule part of the collection, which were t-shirts immediately available online for something like six, seven, eight hundred dollars. I was like, well, why would I want to buy something with a reprint when if I go online secondhand shopping, I could get the original from the 90s at half that price. That's why 50% off of these is actually slightly better than the price that I would pay if I were to hunt them down secondhand um, from the 90s. That's why I went for it at the end of the day because I thought, okay, I, I am making some sort of saving there. Well, guys, there you have it. I hope you like this video. If you have, please do thumb it up. And let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. If you haven't already but wish to, please consider subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And of course, as I mentioned before, on Patreon. So, we love you, Johnny. And also thanks to you, we will never give up on love. Love you guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.